Say hello to the world. Hello. Yes, and thank you for joining us. And please remember, we're being as vulnerable as possible in a super difficult time. So do the same. And remember to smile big. So let's all bring our hands to prayer. Remember to laugh. And we'll sweep our arms up on the inhale. And then forward fold, exhale. We'll step the right leg back on the inhale. And then we'll go down dog on the exhale. We'll roll forward on the inhale. And we'll lower down knees, chest, chin on the exhale. We'll inhale through cobra. And then we'll exhale through child. We'll roll up the cat on the same exhale. We'll inhale into the cow, and then exhale into down dog. For everybody that's following along, we're gonna do about three or four step back. So notice the rhythm, take your time. Don't keep up with my voice or the people you see on the screen. Just move the way that you're designed to. Right leg will lift up on the inhale, and then we'll exhale, step it through the hands. We'll look up, and then left foot will meet right. Long back on the in, forward fold, exhale. Inhale, we'll rise on up, reach, back, exhale. Inhale, tall, exhale and forward fold. Left leg will go back on the inhale. Down dog will be the exhale. Roll forward on the inhale, lower down, exhale. Inhale will be the cobra. Use those feet, everyone. Exhale will be child's. Rolling up into cat. Inhaling cow. Exhaling down dog. Left leg will lift on the inhale. Exhale will step it through. Look up. And then right foot will meet left. Long back. Forward fold. Inhale will rise up. And then reach back, exhale. One more like that. Inhale, tall. Exhale and forward fold. Right leg will go back on the inhale. Down dog will be the exhale. Roll forward on the inhale. Lower down knees, chest, chin, exhale. Inhale into cobra. Exhale through child. Rolling up into cat. Inhaling into cow. Exhaling into down dog. Right leg will lift on the inhale. Exhale, knee to nose. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, knee to nose. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, knee to nose. Step through, look up. Left foot meets right inhale. Fold, exhale. Inhale, we'll come rising on up. Reach back. Exhale. Inhale, tall. Exhale, and forward fold. Left leg will go back, inhale. Down dog will be the exhale. Roll forward on the inhale. Knees, chest, chin, exhale. Inhale will be cobra. Exhale, child. Rolling up into cats. Inhale, cow. Exhale, down dog. Left leg will lift on the inhale. Exhale, knee to nose. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, knee to nose. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, knee to nose. Step through, look up. Right foot meets left. Long back, inhale. Fold, exhale. Inhale, come rising up. Reach, back. Exhale. Let's keep going. Inhale, tall. Exhale, swan dive, fold. Right leg will go back. Inhale. Left leg will follow. Three push ups. One, two, three. Up dog or down dog. Preference. And we'll meet in down dog. Right leg will lift on the inhale. Exhale to the right elbow. Over to the left. Then inhale, lift up. Exhale, step through, wide-legged fold. Long back on the inhale. Fold, 
on the exhale. Two breaths, inhale, exhale, inhale, and exhale. We'll all turn to the front of the mat and we'll step into our squat. Three times, stand up on the in, come down on the exhale. Inhale, rise up, exhale, come down. Inhale up, exhale down. Inhale up, prayer comes into heart, feet come together, through the nose, sweep the arms up, inhale. Forward fold, exhale. Left leg will go back, inhale. Right into plank, three times, lower down on the X. Come up on the inhale. Two more, lower down. One more, up dog or down dog, your choice. Do what makes sense, and we'll meet in down dog. Straight arms. Left leg will rise on the inhale. Exhale to the left elbow. Over to the right. Inhale, lift on up. Exhale, knee to nose, step through, wide legged fold. Long back on the in. Fold on the exhale two breaths inhale and exhale one more time inhale and exhale let's turn to the front of the mat step into your squat move side to side stand up on the inhale come down on the exhale two more inhale rise exhale down one more, inhale, rise, exhale, down. Inhale, rise, hands come to prayer, pull the prayer in. Nice. Let's move it to sun salutation. Eh? And you remember everyone that's watching or practicing with us, you don't have to jump back and forth, but if you do step back, try to use both sides of your body. We'll sweep our arms up on the inhale. Forward fold, exhale. Look up, inhale. Chaturanga is the exhale. Inhale into up dog. Exhale, down dog. Three breaths, jumping on the third. Inhale, exhale. Two more, inhale, exhale. Start to bend into your knees, inhale. Jump to the front, exhale. Long back on the inhale. Fold, exhale. Inhale, come rising on up. Reach back, exhale. Pull the prayer in the heart. Look down at the prayer. Two more times. Sweep the arms up, inhale. Swan dive, exhale. Look up, inhale. Jump back, exhale. Inhale, through up dog. Take your time. Exhale, down dog. Hold your down dog. Two more breaths, inhale, exhale. Bend the knees on the inhale, jump to the front, exhale. Long back inhale, fold, exhale. Inhale, we'll come rising on up, reach, back, exhale. Pull the prayer in the heart. Last one, sweep the arms up on the inhale. Forward fold, exhale. Look up, inhale. Chaturanga is the exhale. Inhale into the up dog. Exhale, down dog. Three breaths before we step through into crescent lunge. So for everyone watching, remember to try to keep the palms flat. Try to get that nose and knee to get close together before you step through and open up the stride before the arms come rising up overhead. Right leg will lift on the inhale. Exhale, knee to nose, step through, crescent lunge. For everybody watching too, you'll notice the focus in the eyes. They don't even recognize me. They're using the tip of their nose as they're dressy. They're feeling that right leg pull back and that left eye pull forward. That's all on the inhale. Reach the hands forward and we'll pull the left arm back and open up and we'll tilt it back and then we'll all find the dragon. 
and everyone's watching, you'll notice that we build a pattern. Right? So you could just close your eyes and hopefully my voice and the breathing can help you move freely without worrying what you look like or what everyone looks like on the screen. They're all human beings looking to help you as well as themselves. Let's slide the left arm close to the body and lift up into back into crescent lunge. After you find the peak of the asana, open the hands forward and let's tilt it back into baby waterfall. And as you roll it back, let's keep leaning into the right knee, find length into that beautiful left lung. And then we'll tilt it right into our sunfish. And as we press down into the hand, the knee will come off the mat, the toes will tuck or open and try to see the outside wall. Let's reach it forward. And let's all lay it out and spend some time to really feel the length of the side of the body. And then we'll wing it around and we'll come through Skandanasana. Everybody, if you'll notice, you're watching how everybody is different. Some people go super low, some people stay up high. No judgment. You do what you're capable of doing. Think about all of the possibilities that this movement can have in your everyday life. One of our favorite things to do around here is play, but be super serious. And we like to take our vinyasa in our little play time. Let's all turn to the front of the mat when you're ready, and let's all get our flow on. And we all have unique ways of going through our vinyasa, right? This form of lowering down, lifting up. Some of us like to kick up. Some of us will do push-ups, right? Some of us will just go through very simple vinyasa, and then we'll meet in down dog. Once we arrive in down dog, let's say you're in class and you see people holding their handstand, let them be there. Left leg will lift on the inhale. Exhale, step it through, and meet me in crescent lunge. Sweep those arms on up, lengthen all the way back. And then let's reach the hands forward, and then open up to the inside wall. Keep that left knee moving forward, Tilt it back when you're ready. And then we'll meet into the drag. And for everybody watching, try to push your elbow into the inside knee. Try to open across the chest. Remember to breathe. If you'll notice, some people go half a bind, putting the hand behind the back, building into binding. Try to look up at the ceiling, keeping that arm close. Reach to the back, keep it alongside of you, and we'll meet back in crescent lunge. Remember the legs, stay strong. And at the tip of it, let's reach forward and open up into the waterfall. And as we get into the waterfall, remember to keep leaning into that left knee. Remember to breathe into the body. One more breath, everyone. Sunfish it out. All the way down, lift up, tuck the toes, lengthen. Let's reach it forward. Let's all lay it out. And then we'll move through scandals. And again, for everybody watching, Notice, everyone's lifting their toes back. They're staying for a moment. They're truly taking their time. They're not even paying attention to who I am, what I'm saying. They're going through their personal side body movement. And then from here, we'll turn to the front of the mat and we'll all get our flow on. If you're working on going upside down, notice the standing split that happens before the handstand attempt. Notice how the right foot will move in first. You'll look down at the hands. If you've been kicking up against the wall and holding it, and your first name is Nicole, you should totally kick up a few times. And then we'll all meet down dog. If you, have, if you don't know who I am, I'm kind of an asana bully, but it's okay. And when everybody rises up, it's actually the first time I ever called myself an asana bully. I think I might need to make a t-shirt, right? Asana bully, yeah. I'm always called a bully when I'm trying to help people develop an asana practice, but I don't really give a shit. That's who I am. Let's all bend into your knees on your inhale. Jump to the front, exhale. Long back on the inhale. Fold on the exhale. Inhale, come sweeping on up. And then reach back, exhale. Pull the prayer in the heart. Wipe the slate clean. One big breath, everyone. Inhale. Exhale. Sweep the arms up on the inhale. Swan dive on the exhale. Sit down chair on the inhale. And twist to the right side 
exhale. Three breaths, inhale, exhale. Notice everyone is different. Inhale, exhale. One more breath, everybody. Inhale, exhale. Sweep the arms up on the inhale. Over to the other side, exhale. Notice how the right knee starts to pull back who is watching. Maybe people's arms open up. But look, they're looking up. The prayer is towards their heart. Maybe it's a way for them to get an openness across the back. Let's all sweep the arms up on the inhale. Forward fold, exhale. Look up, inhale. Jump back, exhale. Inhale, up dog, spend time, shoulders back. And we'll all meet in down dog. Hold your down dog. Maybe you have to walk your feet in if you rolled over your toes. Maybe you like to reposition your hands, spreading the fingers out. Right leg will lift on the inhale. Exhale to the right elbow. Over to the left, break your triangle. Two breaths, starting now. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Left hand will go down, three-legged down dog. Then over and flip your dog. Lightly touch down. Two breaths, starting now. Inhale. Exhale. One more, inhale. Exhale. Right leg will lift up. Try to step right foot through. High lunge on the inhale. Take your time. Notice how everybody's keeping that big right toe down. Keeping a strong gaze. Let's all reach the hands forward. Open up, warrior two. Reverse it on the inhale. Extended angle on the exhale. Fine length. Sunfish on the inhale. Three-legged down dog. And we'll meet in your down dog. If you're looking to kick up, find, reach. Notice I'm touching up. I'm sorry, but I love you. Hold. Pause. When everybody arrives. Left leg will come up on the inhale. Exhale to the left elbow. Over to the right. Break your triangle. Open on up. Lift. One more breath, gracefully. Right hand will go down. Three-legged down dog. Look under the armpit before you let the leg fall over. Look for the ball mound. Push through the hips and lift. Two breaths. Inhale. Exhale. One more. Inhale. And then left leg will come up. Try to step it forward. And then step through. High lunge. Rise on up. Reaching nice and high. Lengthening the hands. Higher and higher and higher. And then from here, let's reach the hands forward. Pull it back. Warrior two. Strong with the knees. Reverse it on the inhale. Extend it on the exhale. For everybody watching, from warrior two into reverse, into extended angle, it's like peanut butter and jelly in America. <laughs> Every fucking yoga studio will do this. So please remember, this should be part of your fabric of movement. Sunfish, everyone, take your time. And then from the sunfish, three-legged down dog, and we'll all meet in down dog. Notice the hands, notice the legs, and then we'll sweep up, and then we'll find it. Long, inhale, exhale. And when everyone's ready, move through your vinyasa, and we'll meet back in down dog. Hold your down dog. 
And I want everyone to listen to me very clearly. If you're watching this video and if you're intimidated by people holding poses with their body, that's something that you want to let go if you want a successful yoga practice. The ego is the one that is admiring that. You don't know how long that human being has worked to achieve that. But it's like everything else, whose grass is greener, what kind of car we drive. Let it go. Just be grateful to have your hands and your feet on the mat and you're able to breathe fluidly. A lot of people in our world can't do that. Bend into the knees on the inhale. Jump to the front, exhale. Long back inhale. Fold, exhale. We'll sweep our feet. We'll sit down chair on the inhale. So you notice everyone's chair is different. Just like everyone's hair is different, nationality. It's beautiful. You have to remember that shit. People don't fucking remember that stuff. And we'll stand up tall and we'll pull the prayer in. Two breaths. Inhale. Exhale. One thing we love to do around here is that we love to do curtsies. And we think the curtsy is something that happens to our body when we fall a lot. So we try to teach it to everybody. Sweep the arms up on the inhale. Swan dive. Exhale. Sit down chair on the inhale. Twist to the right side. Exhale. Let's add some options, everyone. All right? Maybe a bind and a half behind the back. Maybe arms open up. Maybe one hand goes on a hip. Right? Anything that makes sense. Maybe side crow. Right? All different movements. So when you're home, you're like, you know what? Oh shit, I never did side crow from here. Let me try it. Maybe you do that really stupid pose that's on Instagram, that falling angel thingy, whatever it's called. Right? This is, this is like, this is like, I did side crow and I fell, but I'm a skinny bitch and I look good. So I'm going to take this and post this and everyone's going to love it. Everyone hold. And then meet me back in chair. And the reason why I say chair, because it's really pain in the ass to come out of fucking side crow to come back. So we come into chair and kind of start over. Right? Stand up tall, everybody. Let's keep it real. Nice. Swan dive fold, sweep the feet, sit down chair. Nice. And then we'll twist out to the other side. And again, I, I like to share my experience of helping people achieve asana classes. It's kind of like achieving things in physical movements. A lot of the shit you see on social media, it takes hundreds of takes. The majority of the pictures you see were taken from film. People film themselves and they catch the very best <laughs> moments. And then they post it. And then you're like, oh man, I want to do that so badly. I want to look like that. Let that shit go and be you. When everyone's ready, then we'll stand up. Right? And notice. Come on up. There you go, right? The smile. They're happy. They're six feet away from each other. All good. We'll bring our hands to prayer. Nice, everybody. All right. So from here, let's play around back into the curtsy. We'll do three rounds and express what you do with your arms. Maybe some hand mudras. How far do you step back? How low do you get down? Sweep the arms up on the inhale. Swan dive, exhale. Sweep the feet, sit down chair on the inhale. Divers, exhale. Lift, sit down chair, inhale. Divers, exhale. We're gonna go from here, everyone. Sit down chair, right leg lifts. Notice the balance, the focus. Curtsy it back on the exhale. Sit down chair and then inhale. Sweep the ground, watch the left leg lift. Watch the focus. Curtsy it back, maybe even further and further. Sit down, chair, and inhale. Keep going, everybody. And again, we're going to go three in total. For everybody that's watching, right? Not focus on the first person in the screen. Look to the back. Notice what's going on. Everybody is moving at their own pace, doing their own thing. Nice. And when everyone's ready, after the third time, on the left. We'll sit down chair and we'll chill and we'll wait for the room to flow and catch up. Take your time. Listen to that breath, man. Inhales and exhales. Nice. From the chair, everybody. One more breath in. Forward fold on the exhale. Look up on the inhale. Jump back. Exhale. Inhale through up dog. Exhale, down dog. Nice. So before we step up, everyone that's watching, we're going to build a pattern and we're going to keep developing from it 
And it's always going to start from that high lunge. If you've been practicing with us lately, you'll notice that this has been a replacement of Virabhadrasana 1. Right leg will lift on the inhale. Exhale to the right elbow. Over to the left. Break the triangle. One breath. Lift up. And then flip your dog. Now notice, I'm saying this fast, but they're not moving with my voice. They're taking their time, they're being safe, they're moving through the class. So when you're in classes, three-legged dog, step through to high lunge. If you have to use your hand, use it. Once they arrive, notice the knee is bent, the gaze is strong. We'll reach the hands forward, pull it back, warrior two. Reverse it on the inhale, extend it on the exhale. Take your time getting there. Come under. Now we'll spend three breaths, maybe some binding. Lengthening. Remember to drag the left hand. Warrior two. Open on up. Reverse the triangle. Lengthen. Up and forward, triangle, right hand down, left hand up. And again, if you're, again, watching or listening, you're gonna notice that everybody does something different with their hands. Some people place it on their shin or their care, their ankles or knees. Some people place it on blocks. We don't have blocks right now because we're tired of washing them and we left them out of the equation. But feel free to use a block. Warrior two on the inhale. Reverse it, cartwheel into sunfish, and I'll see you in down dog after you get your flow on. Don't be scared of the camera. Kick up and see what people like, what it's like to work towards it, right? Just kick up. If you put them in work in, know your game plan, know you're how going to fall, and just kick up a little bit. There you go, girl. <laughs> Laura's having major accomplishments right now. Rachel's having major accomplishments. There they go. Look at that, against the fucking wall back there. Good job, Rachel. I know that shit. I know all the work. We don't pay attention to Jane Love in the front, right? It's like, go back there. Down dog, everybody. Hold. But that's it. Everybody watching that shit, that's what it's like. Rachel in the back had so much awareness from so much of the work. She knew the wall was there and she stopped. Laura in the front has been kicking up in front of the Indian wall for freaking for five years straight. And now she's not in front of the wall. So she is testing her fears. Everybody's going through it. Nicole has been using the wall, right? Everybody's going through it. They're putting in the work. Remember that shit. So if you're home, be playful. Have fun with yourself, but understand where you are and how you're going to come out. Left leg comes up on the inhale. Exhale to the left elbow. Over to the right. Break your triangle. Right? And our studio is small, right? So you have to compromise. Lift. Not a compromise. You just got to deal with what life serves you, right? You get what you get. You don't get upset. Flip your dog, fam. Come up and open, take your time, drop it behind you, and then lift. Yeah, see the calves? Remember, no left handsies. Left leg will come on up, step the left leg forward, and then we'll see you in high lunge. Taking your time, looking straight past me, lengthening those arms, reach those hands forward, pull them back, open up warrior two. Reverse it on the inhale. Extended angle on the exhale. And again, everybody will do something different. We'll look for binding. But look where the gaze is. We're all looking up. One more breath, everybody, before we pull out like we do. Remember, try to drag the right hand, teach them the circle. Release the right hand, come up into Virabhajasana. Pause. Reverse the triangle. Up and forward, triangle. Left hand down. Right hand will go up. Let's look up at the hand. Two breaths, inhale. Exhale, last one, inhale, warrior two on the inhale, 
reverse it, sunfish, three-legged doggies, everybody do what you do. And again, watch them when they kick. Look how strong the hands are. As they kick up, legs will reach high. Some people will fall, some people will find wheel, some people will round out, some people won't do it at all, right? But that's how it is, it doesn't matter. The handstand, the inversions, all of the poses that make such weird people popular on social media are not yoga. It's just a, I want something, I want that. Bend into your knees on your inhale, jump to the front, exit. Long back on the inhale, forward fold, exhale, touch your small toes, sit down chair. Let's stand up tall, pull the prayer in, arms alongside the body. Two breaths, inhale, exhale. For all everybody watching, right, we love to do our curtsies, to do our dancing warrior, Right, but we also love to embrace our inner ballerina. Sweep the arms up on the inhale. Swan dive, exhale. Sit down chair on the inhale. And let's twist out to the right side one more time. Again, everybody, free expression. For the people that are watching, maybe some side crow, right? Maybe take it into Kundinyasana A. Maybe do the fallen angel thingies. Lifting, taking your time. Nice, maybe some chin stands. And when everyone's ready, we'll meet back in chair and then we'll stand up, straighten our stuff out before we look up and swan dive fold, sweep the ground, sit down chair. One more side, everybody, and then we'll twist it out. Take your time and again, let's show them what's up. Right, and again, everything you see that people do it's not to try to impress you, even though they're on screen. It's to try to share their movements, their passion, what they like to do. And when you're done, everyone, we'll sit down chair on the inhale, take your time. You notice how still people are coming at the chair, right? No one is rushing. People have a tendency to rush. Stand up tall, pull the prayer in. Nice, everybody. One breath here. Big inhale, big exhale. Sweep the arms up on the inhale, 